Hey, I'm Randy and you're watching The Cheap Audio Man. Here at The Cheap Audio Man, we talk about high value hi-fi, home theater, and headphone equipment. And today, it's a special day because we are talking about the brand new CSS Audio Tori, I think is what it's called. It's a speaker kit, okay? Don't be afraid though. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about this brand new CSS Audio speaker kit. Huge shout out to today's sponsor, Sith Audio, Audiophile, RCA Cables? That's right, the first ever real Sith Audio product. These are the cheap Audio Man RCA Cables. There's nothing special about them. However, they are made here in the US by Snake Oil Cables. I know how ironic that I've just been talking about some cables and then these come in. So they are in limited quantities, of course. And I already put them out to my patrons and well, about half of them are gone. Initially got 50 pair of three footers, 25 pair of one and a half footers, 25 pair of four footers. There's one left on the four footer. I don't know if I'll be bringing more of these in. I kinda wanna do something fun each time I do this. But these are made from German cables. Very, very flexible. You can do this, and then you're done. So very flexible, very nice. I make no claims about sonic improvements. However, they do have a decent shield. Very similar to the mid-tier snake oil cables, although they have a better connector, okay? So they're about 35 bucks a piece, or 36. Made from Sommer cables. Don't delay, they're not gonna be here very long. They're marked down from $12,000 to $35. Links in the description to the cheap Audio Man store stuff. Stuff store. DSS Audio. So now don't go falling in love with how these, these look, all right, unless you buy a finished pair. Because this is a kit, which means you can make them as pretty or as ugly as you want. And I've made about eight pair of these, maybe even more for customers and myself personally. Let me tell you something, the hardest part of making these speakers is not getting the crossover together and getting the drivers and gluing up the uh, enclosure. It's getting them to look pretty. If you're a woodworking genius, probably not gonna be an issue for you. If you're slightly stupid like myself, it takes a few at-bats to get it right. Let's talk about CSS audio a little bit more. I think I reached out to CSS audio. Were they reached, I can't remember, but anyway, I talked to Carrie. And turns out we have a little bit in common. Carrie was a submarine officer on a submarine, which is why they call it a submarine officer. Anyway, he went to the same school that I went to, except he was an officer. I was a lowly enlisted sailor. But the submarine force is a fairly small fraternity of people, men and women now. And knowing the brutal academic hazing that was nuclear power school and prototype, we automatically had a bit of a bond. So imagine a young officer, hundreds if not a thousand feet below the surface of the Atlantic or the Pacific Ocean, getting hazed relentlessly by superior officers, dreaming of a better place, a better time, a better life, dreaming of making speakers. The great thing about CSS Audio is it's veteran owned and I know what it takes to make it through those schools and the pedigree of person to become a nuclear officer. Little history, Hyman Rickover was the father of the nuclear Navy. He used to lock officers in a closet for 24 hours just to see how they reacted to see if they were cut out to be a sub officer. So I don't know, maybe Kerry got locked in a closet for like 48 hours before he did the interview. But you're not here to listen about junior naval officers being locked in a storage facility. You're here to talk about the speakers. So to date, the... Tory? I feel weird saying that. The Tory is the most affordable speaker kit that CSS Audio has to offer. It comes in at $279 
without a flat pack. Flat pack is basically the enclosure. The cool thing about their flat packs is it's CNC'd or cut in a way, what rabbits, where it really only goes together one way. So it's hard to mess up. Even though this is a kit, I would say that this is probably the most straightforward kit that you can buy because of not only the enclosure, the crossover board. The crossover board is a 3D printed board. The crossover board actually holds the components in place and it is labeled. So if you have a two millihenry inductor, there's a spot for it. It says two minutes, so everything's labeled. And then the cool thing is on the back, on the back of the crossover board, it's labeled with A, B, C, D, E, F. So instead of looking at a wiring diagram, which I kind of prefer actually, but for new people, it's, it's a clever design. So on the back, it'll be A and A. So what you do is you take the A's, put them together, solder them. Take the B's, put them together, solder them. Take the G's, which there's going to be a few G's because that stands for ground. Put them all together, solder them. Sometimes you have to run a jumper. No big deal though. Point being that this is something that most or none of the other speaker kit manufacturers do something like this. So CSS Audio is trying to make it easier for people to build a speaker. One of my favorite speakers is the CSS 1TDX. It's a Crichton. The 1TD is really good too. I personally like the 1TDX a little bit better. Of course, it's more expensive. But this one, the Tori, is not expensive. Let's talk about the drivers. So per the website, uh, the tweeter is a pared down version of a tweeter that they already use in other kits. New woofer though, it's a five and a quarter inch woven carbon fiber amid woofer that utilizes distortion reducing shorting rings in the motor to improve accuracy and transparency. Ooh, I love distortion reducing shorting rings. I haven't done this for a while. Oh yeah. Okay, let's talk about the specs and then we're gonna get right into how these sound. Low frequency roll off. Now granted, this is a not a huge speaker. Should have busted out the tape measure. Anechoic, anechoic means it's a magic room where there's no room gain. So it's just the speaker, raw speaker. It's not, not doing this, being reflected off a wall and things like that. Plus or minus negative three dB, which is kind of the beginning of the low frequency roll off. 50 Hertz, okay? In room, 40 Hertz. The takeaway is that's a lot for speaker this size. But CSS Audio also does bass better than any other, well, I think any other speaker, period, as far as bookshelf speakers, as far as bass clarity and things like that. Top end frequency response is reported at 20 Hertz. So 50 and 40. I will tell you this. Now I'm gonna get into it. Let's talk about bass. All right, just to quickly go over soundstage and imaging, it's great. I mean, you can get better soundstage and imaging. I did the majority of my listing down here in the living room, which is a huge room. Tow them in fairly aggressively, you can get really pinpoint accuracy, but there is automatic depth of soundstage. Off-axis performance is great with a speaker. So, there you go. Bass. The bass response on this speaker is mind-blowing for its size. Yeah, it's not a tiny speaker, but it is by no means a Crichton 1TDX, a Polk S20, or a Polk R200. Smaller. Much smaller. I, and I know this is kind of cliche, but I had to check to see if the subwoofer was on. Even though I went into the menu and checked to make sure that the front speakers were set to large, and that the subwoofer was set to off. I was still checking the subwoofer. Tracks like inter, I don't wanna scratch these. Tracks like Intergalactic by the Beastie Boys. Tracks like Narcissistic Cannibal by Korn. Tracks like Wow by Beck. All tracks that have a really hefty punch and not only punch, but extension were handled beautifully. Narcissistic Cannibal at the 60 second mark, there is a doo doo, which goes way down. Most speakers, I can't even hear that. That part is completely missing from a lot of songs. Even on this small speaker, I heard it. The amount of bass 
and quality of bass that comes out of these things is shocking. I kind of equate these to the PSB Imagine X1s. Those come in around $600 retail. I was really surprised at the amount of bass that they put out as well. So out of any of the smaller speakers that I've heard, those two are the standouts. And of course, the, the Crichton is going to win here on clarity. I was a bit concerned that because of the bass presence, it was going to cover up some mid-range clarity. It did not. Female vocals, like <laughs> I almost said Adele by Hello. Hello by Adele. Her voice did not, maybe not have the exacting detail that I've heard on other speakers. It was a bit of a warmer presentation, but there were still plenty of detail. Male vocals especially sounded very natural. I Will Give You All by Mumford & Sons. Rich, warm, baritone. Hurt by Johnny Cash. Again, there, there's something special going on in the mid-range here. In a small room with room gain and reflections and stuff, you may get a cover-up in the mid-range. But that's a function of the room and not the speaker. Lena Hall, her cover of Creep. Oh my goodness. What a wonderful song. I think it's the 2 minute 20 second mark. She hits like a really high note and starts clipping the microphone, really. A lot of speakers can start to fall apart, especially anything that has a enclosure issue. And of course, one of the main reasons why you want to build a kit is because the enclosure is going to be rock solid. There isn't going to be any issues with the enclosure as far as resonance. I'm sure there's a crossbar. I put together a bunch of Crichtons and I know that the uh, enclosure is absolutely rock solid. Hurts my knuckles. Here's the thing about CSS Audio. Like, I I completely trust everything that they say. Not just because the guy was in the Navy, but because I've listened to three or four of their speakers at this point, and they all were fantastic. And again, I'm not saying that they have a house sound because I feel like this speaker is very neutral. They really know how to do bass and bass clarity. For me, I just kind of continue to be blown away because most of the time there you, you have to sacrifice so much with a small -er speaker we all have heard it oh this speaker works in a small room this speaker will work in a den i gotta tell you this speaker can work in a room that has 22 foot ceilings this is not hyperbole these things sounded better than a lot of the floor standing speakers i've had in top end detailed is not the star of the show here Bass, mid-range, star of the show. Top end, perfect, inline, not boosted, but this is not a crazy detail monster, like something like an Emotiva B2+. Plus. This is going to be a speaker that checks all of the boxes. I could easily live with this as my desktop monitors, even as my front channels in my living room. There's not one point that this speaker was fatiguing, not one point could really crank it. 86 and a half dB is the sensitivity, which means how much power these take to get up and running. Took a little bit more of a turn of the knob on my Marantz Center 1711 receiver. So that's what I was using to run these with. These are an eight ohm speaker. So I put a 50 watt home theater receiver on these. Did wonderfully. Put it in pure direct mode. Fantastic. Fantastic, sounded great. And I'll put it to you this way. If things sound great on the Marantz, they're gonna sound great on everything else. This is a speaker that has a sound signature that will match up with amplifiers like, so this is gonna be like ideal pairings. Rotel, A11, Tribute. Any of the Class D, NAD stuff, I would probably not pair this with the Cambridge Audio AXA 25 or 35. Almost all of the Chinese made Class D stuff, so SMSL, Topping, the topping, what is that, A90, whatever, that amplifier would go great with this. Akatika, Emotiva A1, A2, A2 Mini, TA1, TA2. It's going to do a great job with these. The only thing I would avoid is the warmest of the warm amplifiers or preamps. Everything else is going to play perfectly with the Tori because there's no... There's no bump in the upper mid-range. There's no bump in the treble. And this speaker, even though I imagine it measures 
fairly linearly is incredibly dynamic and once again another home run from css audio i think some factory speakers can compete with these but they're a lot bigger like the r200 maybe maybe i imagine if i'm doing a head-to-head -head, that tori's gonna win and that is why i did not a b these with anything because well you're doing all the work and that work is worth something they're not going through a sales channel so that's worth something as well absolutely incredible no brainer here at 379 i would suggest you get the flat pack that cnc by them unless you're really good at woodworking i mean i've got a table saw but guaranteed i'd still somehow find a way to probably mess up the enclosure for me this is the best kit speaker that you can get um below 500 dollars. so if you want to support the channel you can sign up for patreon patreon.com slash cheap audio man every Sunday night we have patron only zooms patron only facebook group patron only discord server you can use the thanks button right down below this hit the thanks buy me a cup of coffee so um i love css audio they don't have an affiliate program so i make nothing if you buy this but don't hold back go buy it buy some cables also if you want to support the channel new rca cables sith audio's first product even though we don't call it sith audio because um well there's trademark issues disney with sith so don't binge watch anything on netflix or hulu binge it listen through your new cs audio tor tories is that right doesn't seem right tories and fill your soul with happiness and with that i'm randy i'm the cheap audio man <laughs>